So this is another very common problem with specifically Macs and DVS. You'll find that their sync is out and that they are constantly listening. Audio may or may not pass, but obviously this is something that is not very good. Uh, the reason is basically the Mac implementation of IGMP isn't quite uh, fully functional, or there's a bug, or there's a glitch. Um, the, the underlying issue is not for this video. But there's, uh, there's an article from Ordnet on how you would fix this. So essentially, if you're running a Cisco switch, you would change the mode of your multicast filtering on that specific port so that it would forward all. Now, not every switch can do that. Um, so I'll show you a different way of achieving the same thing. So on my Netgear uh, M4100 series switches, I've got all of my ports set to forward unregistered. Registered traffic will be filtered on a per port basis and then unregistered traffic, which is essentially new broadcasts, will be forwarded to all ports. As soon as they become known and by the snooper or the querier, um, then they'll form a group. And if I go into my multicast forwarding database, you can see my groups here and you can also see which ports are in those groups. So currently this is port two and there's a lag group. Um, so port two is a console in this and then port, uh, the lag group is a link between two switches. Um, so rather than, I could just change my bridge forwarding to be forward all, but in these switches that's a global setting. So it would forward all multicast traffic to all ports which is not what I want to do. So in my IGM, IGMP um, snoop in, there's also this thing called multicast router configuration. So a multicast router is a device that you'd have on your network that handles multicast routing, uh, typically between LANs. So if you've got um, VLANs or inter VLAN routing, your multicast router would be the port that you want to send all of your multicast traffic to so that it can control whether it sends it on to another segment, network segment or not. So in here by default, um, they would all normally be set to disabled because you would normally expect to have a multicast router um, unless you've specifically told it to. So you'll find a lot of switches in the industry will have a, a bit of labeling that says, use certain ports for MAC addresses. And that's where someone has, has done this on a Cisco typically, has told two ports to forward all multicast traffic to those ports. So that when you just plug in a MAC, it just works. So you can do the same by telling it that these ports are multicast routers. Now what that means is that these ports will receive all multicast from all groups that the switch is aware of, whether it's member or not of those groups. So if we change that to be enable, and if I launch Dante controller over here, if I try and do this at the same time. So if I apply this, you should see straight away it became a follower and everything's good again. So what I've done essentially is faked forward all packets, multicast packets to that port by telling it that it's a multicast router. So if you don't have access to per port um, multicast filtering, then that's another way that you can do it if your switch supports multicast routers, um, which this is a 10 year old switch. So most decent switches will.